Okay, hello. Welcome back to Making It. <laughs> okay, hello. Welcome back to Making It with Metzger. <laughs> what? Um, how can I get the giggles when I'm here by myself? It's my own fault. Uh, I'm back in my urban garden. I did it. Today, we're gonna take this garlic that I harvested from my garden and turn it into this homemade dehydrated garlic powder. Keep watching. Ow! I just punched this thing. It's like a fine garlic mist. I'm Kelly Metzger. Uh, most people, uh, if you do know me, know me as the voice of Mia on Ninjago. And um, in this vlog, I'm just sharing a little bit about my life in Vancouver. We have turned our backyard into a garden, which is a common practice in East Vancouver. Maybe I'll give you a little tour around in a future video. the contraption on that truck. I'm gonna try and braid some garlic today. I watched another YouTube video and I'll link it below of what video taught me how to braid garlic but the thing that I noticed is that we harvested our garlic way too late. Plus then we neglected it for another few weeks and it's getting pretty dry. I don't know if it will braid um, but I'm gonna try. Okay the first thing they told me to do was if it's dirty I can pull off the outer leaves. Ay -ay -ay. Oh yeah, look at this. It's getting better. Oh wait, my scissors. Got my scissors. Got a scrub brush to scrub off the dirt. So I can use the scissors to trim the ends. I might just scrub some of the dirt. Ow! What's that, Blackberry? The video said to start with the biggest one. This one looks pretty big. We've got this kind of speckled. Can you see that? On the leaves, it's like on the stem, there's a speckled thing. No. I don't know. I have twine now. What? That sounds like a bad idea. Dunk it in water. What if I got the garlic? Okay, so it's more like figuring out how do I braid. My one braided. Not bad. You know, she's no great beauty. Why she gets the chops in it? Urban garden. 
One fell off already. We're gonna attempt part two of this garlic harvesting journey. I'm gonna take some of the garlics that I couldn't braid and turn them into garlic powder. I'm gonna take the garlic in the pot and shake them and try the thing where it takes all the paper off just by shaking them. I got a lot of garlics in here. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see. status of this. Mm. Couple. Should I take the ones out that are good? Oh my gosh, you see my floor. There's only there's only five that don't have the paper on. Oh dear. Is this the faster way to do it or is there too many garlics in here? I don't know if this is easier. Okay, getting closer. Getting closer. <sighs> dump this on the floor and add to the extra mess I've already started making. Here we go. Hmm. It wasn't as dramatic and beautiful as I was hoping for. Another round of shaking. <gasps> okay, hopefully this is the last of it. How more shakes? How many more shakes? rinse these off. I think they look really beautiful and fresh. And now we're going to chop them up in the food processor. Next step is putting it on the dehydrator outside so that it doesn't stink up my house. It is very hot and bright out here. We are going to take the chopped up garlic and lay it out on these dehydrator sheets. Put some parchment paper down so that the moisture and oil from the garlic doesn't leak all over the dehydrator. And make it an even bigger mess. Oh, Who locked it? Nobody locked it. I need it. In. Okay. Is that why it's baked rice? It kind of looks like rice, but it's garlic. It's chopped up garlic. And then I'm going to turn it into powder. It makes food. Oh, garlic. I can smell it down here. Yeah, there's a lot of garlic. Sweet. It's got savory. Yeah. Get away, Wasp. Get away, Wasp. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. Okay, we got four sheets out of that. Okay, put the lid on. It says herbs, living food, making yogurt, vegetables. 125? 
Should I do 125? It's a vegetable, garlic is a vegetable. And then the highest you can set it is two hours, but I think it's gonna take more than that. And here we go. Let's stink up the neighborhood. And this is gonna be the final stage of our homemade garlic powder. Here it is, our dehydrated garlic bits. I'll open it up. Very smelly. We're gonna put it back into the food processor for one last grind and turn it into some powder. It's quite a lot. We got this food processor on Craigslist. You could probably find it on something like this on Facebook Marketplace. You don't have to buy a new one. People are always getting rid of appliances like this and you can find one very cheap and the old fashioned ones actually last a very long time. to do it a different way? I don't know, or maybe I just need more time. I'm gonna walk away. Okay, I think it's done. I had it on the highest setting for five to 10 minutes. It took a while. I'm gonna open it up. It's gonna be a garlic cloud. And I'm probably gonna smell for the rest of the day. I have a funnel here. Okay. <gasps> House smells like garlic, apparently. A trusty chopstick. Whew! A bit of a mess, as usual. I'm a messy cook. I'm gonna smell like garlic all day. Okay, here we have it. Our homemade garlic powder to put it in some spaghetti sauce, or dips, or soups, I don't know, anything, everything. I'm gonna really smell for the next year. I'm gonna be healthy. Okay. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Making It with Metzger where we made our own garlic powder. Like and subscribe if you wanna see some other projects that I'm doing around my house, or if you're interested in learning voiceovers, check out my Skillshare class, got a link below. A garlicky goodbye to you, my friends.